Hello, and welcome to Paper Play with Julie Kay. Welcome everyone, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm here to do a complete walkthrough of my collage weekly planner from Marguerite Miller for the year 2022. I had a blast working on this planner, and I do like how it turned out. Again, my overall goal was to use as, as use things for my stash, and I did not go out and purchase anything new. I did not print off any new digitals. It had to be something that I already had printed and left over um, from another project. And so I was able to accomplish that, so I'm really happy about that. And before I get going, I did have a couple of people ask me if I was going to be doing the next year's planner that has been following me. And I really appreciate um, everyone that has followed me thus far on this journey. Um, and after a lot of thinking about it, I decided that I am not gonna continue on with another weekly collage planner next year. And the main reason is um, I've been fortunate enough to get a craft room, a new craft room, a new building that we built on our property um, later this year and it's finished. And so now I need to start slowly moving things up from my craft room up to my new space. And I'm not quite sure how much time I'm gonna have initially to work on videos for um, crafting until my new space is completed. So I'm opting right now not to join any swaps or or any collabs or any weekly projects like that just because I want to be able to devote my time this part of the beginning of the year working on um, organizing my new craft space. So with that being said, I am really excited to go through the current planner with you guys. And I will be using this planner next year. I am gonna kinda keep track of different things I wanna work on craft-wise in here. And you know, hopefully later in the year, I'll be able to start joining some collabs again and some swaps. And so this will help keep me um, on track with that. But again, here is the cover of the weekly planner. And I'm not going to go through all the prompts again. If you're interested in that, I do have a playlist of every week's episode that I did. So you can certainly go back and look at them. I'm just going to kind of do a little page through so you can kind of see. I'm going to make sure my camera's somewhat in focus here. So you can kind of see everything that I did. And um, I'll maybe point out a couple if I liked them or if I hated them, those kind of things. You know, so again, we're starting off on week one. You know, this was one early on, I kind of liked that layout. It was kind of a nature themed, nat you know, layout with the bear and the panda bear on that one. So I did like that one. Um, I thought this one was kind of fun with a vintage bingo card on it. Of course, anything with vintage ladies I love or vintage images. You know, I think the only thing I didn't like about this one was the cherries in the background. That one just didn't quite seem to match very well. Um, I didn't really care for that one. It was an okay collage, but it wasn't one of my more favorite ones. Um, this one, I think, initially, I, I struggled a little bit with the collages where um, she just kind of gave you a random thing. And, like, this one was to pick a room in the house, real or imagined, and find at least three images to collage around. And I think I struggled initially with this one, but once I got going and decided on a room, it was easy and this one was, I decided to make it kind of into an art room. And so this one kind of was, you know, at this time it was still a po slight possibility I was going to get a new craft room, but I wasn't sure. And so, you know, I picked that as, you know, kind of some ideas. And I kind of wanted to make it like a vintage flea market type style. Um, so this had some ideas on it. And you can see here I had the cigar boxes here on the side. And I do, I have been collecting um, this past you know, six months or so, I've been collecting a lot of cigar boxes. I had a few from before, but I've been collecting quite a bit um, to use for storage in my new space because I do want my new craft room to kind of have a vintage flea market type style to it. Um, wasn't as crazy about that one. I did like the little owl on it, but um, it was just kind of a so-so one. You know, this one was a little bit better with the vintage, you know, images on that one, but it was, again, kind of just really random stuff on that one. This one I did like how this one turned out. This one was kind of a happily ever after fairy tale type themed one and I like that one. That one I didn't think was bad either. I liked how that one turned out. You know, it had one of my favorite sentiments, not all who wander or lost. 
Um, that one is a little different with the Scotch Brite on it. That one was Graphic 45 leftover paper that I used on that one. I liked how this one turned out. I think this was, you know, one of my favorite ones early on in the planner. Um, that one I remember using an encyclopedia, kids encyclopedia for that one. Another kind of random one. You know, a lot of these are pretty random. It's kind of funny as I'm looking through these. Some of them seem like I just did them yesterday, even though I know it was earlier earlier on in the journey that I had created some of these. You know, of course, anything with my grandma on it. I did a few different spreads about her. Anything with my grandma on it, I, of course, love. Just because I love seeing her smiling face. You know, that one was okay, that one. Same with that one. So now we're on to week number 21, and I think this one I really did not care for at all. I didn't like that layout. Um, you know, I managed to make it work with the prompts, but I didn't care for it. <coughs> uh, it seems like a lot of the layouts, I did do a lot of stuff with birds on it. I do have a lot of ephemera and stuff in my stash with birds on it, so here's another bird one. I liked how that one turned out. You know, a lot of these birds, you know, a couple of these birds we see in my backyard. You know, this one was um, song lyrics, so Blackbird take these broken wings and learn to fly, and then I had written down the some of the lyrics to there, but I liked how that one turned out, just the orange and the black of that one. That was, you know, another one that I that I liked doing. I think I struggled initially with what I was going to pick for a song, but um, I liked how it turned out. Another kind of vintage themed one. You know, that one I do like. <clears throat> that one was so-so. I didn't really like the face in the in that, but that again was one of the prompts was to have a face, so um, you know, just kind of so-so. Some more graphic 45 paper on that one. Just another so-so layout on that one. Another kind of vintage feel one to that one. Same with that one too. And a lot of these like this one and this one and some of the previous ones, some of those photos came from my grandma's old scrapbook of random people from where she grew up. I don't, like, I don't know who that lady is. But obviously it must have been a friend of hers. Um, this one too was a one that I really struggled with initially as to what I was going to do. Because this one you had to think about an imaginer secret code and make a collage around it. And so I actually did, you know, kind of came up with my own, you know, conversion type code and and wrote something. And then I had the, the answer up at the top and that was be your own kind of beautiful. So if you use the code here, you'd be able to spell out be your own kind of beautiful. So I love how that one turned out, but I just initially remember struggling with that one. Um, again, another photo from my grandma's scrapbook, you know, and the birds on this one, which I love that. This one turned out nicer than what I thought it was going to. You know, again, another bird on this one. This one I struggled with too, and I don't still don't really care for it. I mean, it it turned out okay, but I don't really care for it. I struggled with that one, with that layout. Another kind of vintage style themed one. And another vintage one, because you can kind of tell I like the vintage in the birds. Um, this one was a little bit brighter, but I do like it. It was kind of a fun one. This is one of my husband's macro photographs of a, I think it's a sweat bee, I think. And it's in, inside of a flower. It's really close up, so um, just kind of a fun, brighter colored one. You know, there was a Tim Holtz. Um, ephemera piece and a scary looking tree and some bugs on that one. You know, I like how it turned out. It just probably wouldn't have been, you know, one that I would have ever done a collage on initially because, you know, it had to do with something spooky on that one. Another vintage styled one. Another bird, and this one had the little pocket in here with the play money in it. Yeah, this one was kind of in between. I do like, you know, parts of this one. I don't really like the yellow, bright yellow that sticks out on it. But again, that was 
part of a prompt. Oh, a chewing gum or cough drop wrapper. So that came from a cough drop wrapper. This one was just so-so. I didn't really, you know, not overly crazy about that one, but I don't hate it either. This one, hands down, was my least favorite one. This one was week number 42, where we had to create a collage around your favorite beverage choice. And I really, I have stuff I like, but I don't have like a favorite favorite. So it was kind of tough, you know, I had tea and pop and um, sparkling water. I just, like I said, that one just wasn't, wasn't my cup of tea. That one definitely is my least favorite out of the whole book. If I could collage over it, I would. Um, here's another one with some birds on it. So, of course, I like that one. Another vintage bingo card. Another random one with my grandma, which I love this one, too. So, that was at one of her birthday parties. You know, this one, I didn't mind doing this one. You know, part of this one was um, to include stuff of the same color family. So this one had pink on it. So it was, you know, kind of pink and a little bit of a vintage style to it. So I, I, I liked how that one turned out. That one was just so-so. This one right here, this one was week number 48. This is my all-time favorite in the whole collage planner. Um, this one was just to create a collage using a single color or shades of that color. So I kind of did kind of a whitish, you know, white color. So there's off-whites and white and then, you know, white that's a little bit more gray in this one. So, um, again, that one was probably my favorite in the whole, whole collage planner. And this one was a pretty close second. I liked how this one turned out, too. So um, this one was week number 49. This one was kind of cute from week number 50 with a little gnome on it. You know, kind of another, um, there's, you know, a bird on there and a vintage girl. That's a Tim Holtz paper doll. Kind of a purple themed one. And then the last week, again, I ended with my grandma. And that one, again, she was on the, on the Ferris wheel. Um, she wanted to do that one of our local stores where her nursing home was in, um, in North Dakota, Fargo, North Dakota, they have a Shields Heart, you know, um, sporting goods store and hardware store. One of the stores has a big Ferris wheel in the middle of it, and she wanted to do a Ferris wheel again. So my mom and I took her, and so that's me and Grandma sitting on the Ferris wheel before it went up and around in the store. So um, I do like that layout, of course, because my Grandma's in it. And so that is my completed planner for the year. So again, I just wanted to thank everybody who watched this past year. I really appreciate all your comments and support on my little journey. And if anybody's watching this and you are doing this journey for next year and you want to promote yourself a little bit, just leave a comment in the description box below um, just saying that you're going to be doing next year's um, planner. And so if people are looking for new people to follow, um, they could maybe head out to your channels and check it out. So if you are planning on doing a planner like this next year. Um, just leave that below in the comments. And again, thank you everybody so much for watching. And hopefully you will check back to my channel even though I won't be doing a collage planner. Hopefully you'll check back to see what other projects I'm working on and maybe check out um, how the progress of my new craft building and um, craft room is going. I'll probably do a couple little videos. I'll probably do like a saying goodbye to my craft room and um, just showing some little snippets as I get going on things. And I probably will start recording videos after I get a desk in there, you know, doing some small, just random projects of things I find as I'm cleaning just to, to do some videos and catch up with everybody. But until then, I hope everybody has a wonderful day and happy crafting.